What's up everybody, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial series, I'm gonna be showing you how to make backend for websites in Flask. And in this specific tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you two things. Firstly, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a specific URL formatting. I'm also going to be showing you how to handle HTTP requests so you can make sure, so you know how to work with HTTP requests. If you're ready to learn, please watch this video till the end so you get most benefit from others. So let's get started. Firstly, let's build URLs. There's a specific function in Flask, URL4, and we're gonna import that right up here and let's say uh, in our index route let's not say this is home page let's say this is a build oh sorry this is build URL for and we're gonna put a specific URL let's say let's make let's build a URL for uh, this route and in order to do that we need to put the function of that route so it builds up this path for our URL let's see what it means we're building an actual URL for this index function and we're gonna be showing that in the screen when we run this server let's run this server python main.py and let's run that again as you can see we're running it on a debug mode as you can see the build url for index is this one let's say we want to build a url for about function which is here and let's say we want to know the url for this about function i mean url pass in this index route to do that in between these double quotes we say about which is of course the function name not the route and we run that again and let's see as you can see it's right here and what if we need to build a url for gallery refresh it it doesn't work because we have another sub pass underneath of that gallery in order to handle that we add a second parameter for this URL for function let's say name equals to travel and that builds up a beautiful URL for you gallery travel this is putting the keyword travel after the slashes what if we say here instead of gallery uh, we say about and we run that again as you can see we don't have the sub pass after the about route so it assumes this is the query string not a sub pass for this route and it joins that and it will display it on our page basically we don't use this kind of url for function uh, for this kind of stuff, I mean like showing on a screen, instead we use that in the next series of the tutorial, but it's really good to know that. And let's erase this one, and let's say this is home page. And the second thing we're going to see in this tutorial is handling HTTP requests. And how do we handle that? Well, there is an easy way to handle that. What we can do is that in this route uh, method, we put another parameter. Let's say for this index route, we put a comma and we say methods equal to a list of methods that are available, get and post. As you know, get is something like we need if we request a page it makes a get request but if we submit a form it does post request and in order to know which, what kind of request we have we use flasks request building object request don't confuse this with the another library called 
request this because it's similar if you just add s and use and as import it makes it just imports and as a library so be careful with that now how do we know what kind of requests we have we can do that using if statement let's say if requests dot method equals to let's say get it displays a message let's say it displays this is get request and but if makes uh, let's say post request it displays another text like another message post and it displays something like return uh, sorry this is post request and let's delete these routes so we can easily work on that and let's run this server again I think it's already running and refresh that as you can see this is get request but if we submit a form using post request it just shows this uh, message which is this is post request oh my god I had a message on my phone so that's it guys if you like this video please show your respect by liking this video and sharing it with your friends if you're not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss anything see you guys